Welcome to this episode of Mentors at Your Benchside, the podcast giving you advice, tips and tools for getting the most out of your research. I'm Jason Rogers and today I'll be talking to you about the four most common species of uncut plasmid DNA on agarose gels and how to recognise them. When uncut plasmid DNA is isolated and run on an agarose gel, you may observe two, three or even four or more bands. Hopefully the majority of your isolated DNA will be supercoiled, but other forms can also crop up. See the corresponding online article for a diagram showing how these forms will show up on an agarose gel. There's a link to the article in the episode description. I'll take you through where each form comes from. Number 1. Supercoiled Plasmid Supercoiled DNA is the native DNA conformation found in vivo and occurs when the double helix strand twists around itself or a common helical axis, much like a plat. People often compare the forms of DNA to rubber bands or telephone cords. Come on now, some of you must remember phones that had cords on them, right? If you overtwist a rubber band or a telephone cord, coils stack up on one another. This introduces tension. In the case of DNA plasmid preps, the superhelical tension cannot be relieved because the ends of the plasmid are joined together. Supercoiled DNA migrates faster than predicted in an agarose gel due to its conformation. Supercoiled DNA is the desired species when isolating plasmid DNA. Number 2. Nicked, relaxed or circular plasmid DNA found in the supercoiled form is not easily accessed by the replication machinery. During replication, cellular topoisomerases nick one strand of the DNA helix and relax the superhelical tension, thus allowing polymerases to gain access to the DNA. Using the rubber band analogy, nicked circle DNA is the rubber band without any twists introduced. This large floppy circle is the slowest migrating form in an agarose gel. Number 3. Linear Plasmid Linearized DNA occurs when the DNA helix is cut in both strands at the same place. Linear DNA generally migrates between the nicked circle and the supercoiled forms. However, it may also migrate the same distance as the nicked circle. It migrates as predicted by the length of the DNA as compared to the molecular weight markers. You can identify the linear DNA form on an agarose gel by comparing uncut plasmid DNA with a sample of the plasmid that has been linearized using a restriction enzyme. If you get linear DNA when you are hoping for supercoiled, e.g. after DNA plasma preps, it is due to nuclease contamination or harsh treatment during purification. Number 4. Circular Single-Stranded Plasmid During alkaline lysis plasmid preps, plasmids are denatured because the hydrogen bonds are disrupted by the alkaline conditions, but the covalently closed circular strands remain intact and topologically constrained. And when the pH is returned to neutral, the hydrogen bonds reform and the supercoiled DNA is reformed. However, if the alkaline lysis step is overly harsh, for example if it's incubated for too long, the DNA can become permanently denatured and give you useless, single-stranded closed circles that migrate ahead of all the other forms of the plasmid in a gel. So that's it for the four most common species of uncut plasmid DNA observed on a gel and how to recognise them. Check out the episode description for links to related articles and resources and don't forget to subscribe to the podcast to get more help and advice from mentors at your bench site.